guys, Comet here. Welcome to another episode of my Overly Scienced series. This is episode 3 now. Uh, last episode, we got the farm up and running. Um, in this episode, I want to go over... Uh, like I said, I was going to do metal refining. But we're running low on oxygen, so I want to get that set up. And I want to convert these bathrooms over to... Uh, plumbed bathrooms using the lavatory and sink. Now they take in clean water and will output polluted water with germs. You can then sieve that water, that polluted water in a water sieve and get clean water back out. However, that clean water will have food poisoning germs in it. And since I turned off the mush bars and lice loaf over here, we can put that germy clean water over in this tank but there's a different way i want to go about disposing of the polluted water because i can turn polluted water into polluted oxygen and then turn the polluted oxygen into clean oxygen by just letting it evaporate so i'm going to set up like a little tank up here that looks something like this with some liquid reservoirs inside and I'm going to leave some space for a ladder so one, two, three, four, nah, five should be enough and then I'll get some ladders and I'll do something like this actually this we will turn into airflow tiles because then on top of this, we will put deodorizers. And the deodorizer is unlocked over here with uh, decontamination. And I've been going through some researches in the interim between episodes. Uh, it's I'm a couple cycles ahead now. I've just been letting them sweep up the floor here and letting my food accumulate a little more. And then I started running low on oxygen. So now I need to solve that problem. So when you're swapping out bathrooms, the way you want to go about doing that is deleting half of them at a time. Then you replace them, and then you do the other half. Otherwise, if you just delete it all outright, uh, some duplicates are going to make messes. And if you don't have your schedules set up staggered like this, then you'll have a big problem all at once. Now we will put in lavatory and the sink. And then we will also need a liquid pump, which we can power from right here. So what I think I'm going to do is set up a loop that feeds these uh, continuously with the sieved clean water we'll put back into the system and then any excess polluted water we'll go ahead and put up here that way we don't need to waste all of our clean water uh, we have some more down here and i haven't done much exploring to find well i guess there's this over here but it comes out very warm uh, 95 degrees celsius that will scald my duplicates. So I need to either get them into Atmo suits to break over here, or wait till it stops erupting and then go in there and work on it and seal it up and do everything I need to do. That way heat doesn't leak out. Um, I'll probably just wait till I have Atmo suits to tackle that. So I will jump this ahead to when they're done building this and this down here. Okay, so they haven't quite finished everything yet, but I can go ahead and set it up since I have these reservoirs for now. Um, it all starts with this pump down here. I'm going to take that water, put it in here, into the input pipe. The inputs to buildings are white, and then the outputs are green. And then these you have to link together you can't just run this across that one um 
because then this will only be able to output when the pipe that's traveling through it is empty. If you do it this way, then the packets of liquid will join together in this junction. That just keeps it from backing up and running smoothly. And then this, um, so we want uh, the excess polluted water in here. So this is going to go this way. And then any time it can't go into the sieve because this is full, the sieve is going to be backed up. So the polluted water will then go up this way. And we'll put it into there. Uh, that's the output, my bad. It will go this way, into there. And then we can deconnect that using the pliers mod, fantastic mod. I think it should actually be a part of the vanilla game. But anyway, uh, then we'll just connect these up. Like that. So the way this should work is the water from down here will go into here, fill up this sink, this lavatory, and then go be consumed when the duplicants need to use the bathroom. And then the sieve should take as much as it can and put it back into the system. And then anytime the sieve, this sieve, this line right here gets full, it will bypass the sieve and go into here. And then once these tanks fill up, I'm going to deconstruct them, and it's going to drop little uh, bottled polluted water like this onto the ground, and then when the oxygen pressure gets too low, that polluted water will off-gas into polluted oxygen, and these deodorizers will convert it into clean oxygen, which will then flow back down into the base, and we're getting very low on oxygen, so I need this to start running. And this, this this does need some power, so I will go ahead and set up a coal generator and a smart battery. And we can use we can use regular wire for this. And then automation. Connect those up like that. So I want them to finish the construction here first before they do this stuff up here. And then. Okay, it looks like I have some water in here already, so I can go ahead and deconstruct the other half of the bathrooms. Um, I'm going to set this to the same direction as the water basins were. We'll put this in, and then we'll put in the next sink, and then that should be bathrooms set up. So I will jump ahead to when everything is complete, so you can see it working. Alright, it looks like they're just about to finish down here now. Uh, we can take a look at the plumbing overlay. So that polluted water is going to bypass the sieve because this pipe is now full. And it's going to fill up these reservoirs. This one has uh, 40, almost 50 kilograms of wa polluted water in it now. Uh, they can hold 5 tons each. So this is 25 tons worth of polluted water that I can store before having to reset the system. Now these these are working now, uh, just because there's some polluted oxygen floating around somewhere. These will be making the oxygen for not the whole base, but just this general area for now. Uh, right. I want to reorganize this place so it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, probably move the grill over here so that my dupe doesn't have to travel as far when they come down. And I want to move... Uh, these things down and centralize power and then of course get into metal refining because metal refining and plastic is what I consider the transition into mid game so this is still kind of early game uh, but we will get into the mid game here shortly so I will uh, reorganize this and then you'll see me again once that's done all right this is starting to look pretty good now uh, I haven't planted the mealwood just yet because I don't have enough dupes uh, but as I take on more dupes I'll plant more and more so the next thing uh, I need to do now that we've got oxygen and food under control we need to get into refined metals now refined metals can be made in a rock crusher like we were doing 
or in a metal refinery. Now the rock crusher will take in 100 kilograms of ore and output 50 kilograms of a refined metal. So you lose half of the mass in the process, but it's pretty simple to do, and it doesn't take very much power. The metal refinery conserves 100% of the mass, so if you put in 100 kilograms of an ore, you'll get out 100 kilograms of the refined metal. It takes 1.2 kilowatts, which will break uh, the regular wire. So you will need to make a rock crusher to get some refined metal in order to make a conductive wire so that you can go about powering your metal refinery to make more refined metal. Um, the other thing it needs is a coolant. So you have to pipe in a liquid coolant and then it will pipe out uh, that same liquid coolant but at a higher temperature depending on which recipe you are doing. So we need some kind of a liquid that's at a very or a reasonably cold temperature. So we could use this water for now just to get our refining going. And then later we need to find a different source to heat up or we could make a steam turbine room to turn some of that heat back into power. And depending on which recipe you do, you can actually make enough heat to power the refinery. And uh, I'll link to Brothgar's channel, uh, again, another really good Oni YouTuber. Uh, he hasn't been doing much Oni very much anymore, uh, but I'll link to his video where he does a self-powered metal refinery. So I will put in some metal refineries over here in this area, and they will use this pump to get the liquid up inside of them. Now that I've built this, I need to explain how it works. So a metal refinery, uh, like I said earlier, will consume 1.2 kilowatts. That is exactly how much power two coal generators can produce. So if you want to keep it running continuously, you need two coal generators per refinery. So I have two coal generators here connected to a smart battery. The automation comes from the smart battery to turn off the coal generators when the battery gets too full, and this you should actually set to 95 and 5. You bring in those margins a little bit. And I'll set that to all the batteries. Uh, this one I haven't powered up yet because I don't have very much refined metal left. So I'm going to have this one make the copper that I need to finish this one off. So you can make aluminum, copper, gold, and iron. And uh, iron, aluminum, and copper, I think, are the self-powered ones. But again, uh, just refer back to the other video. So May is going to make some copper here. The battery is going to... This is going to draw power from the battery, and these are going to charge the battery back up. Uh, pretty simple stuff here. And then the water output will just come out of this vent and come back down to the pool where the pump will put it back in. Uh, another duplicate here. Uh, we'll take the joyous seeds. Now I need to set up this one so that we have more refined metal coming. Then I'm going to copy these settings and paste them over here. So now these both should be making copper. Um, at this point of the game, once you are making refined metal, uh, you can start centralizing your power onto one big grid using the heavy watt conductive wire. And so what I want to do is accumulate some refined metal, uh, set up a bunch of coal generators right next to each other, and then have them all controlled by a smart battery. So I'm looking around for some space to put this in, and I'm thinking that I just need to dig out more of the map so I can see where exactly I want to put this. So I'm going to probably skip this head a while, and then once I have a lot of the map dug out, I'll go ahead and put in the coal generator, coal generator uh, power plant. And... I think in here, yeah, this power control station you can put inside of a power plant, 
and it will increase the power production of a generator, any generator, even steam turbines now, they put that in the game. It used to not work on steam turbines, uh, but now it does, but it's kind of useless. Uh, same with the fertilizing farms, uh, you could just make your power plant bigger and it will output the same power. Uh, so again, I'll just jump this ahead and then come back once I have a good location for centralized power. I have explored a little bit more of the map now and it looks like the most convenient place for me to put all the generators is going to be right in this area. Um, I also submitted a bioscan on this door to open it and I'm probably going to deconstruct all of this stuff. So with the mod that I have, uh, deconstructable points of interest, it should, yeah, I can deconstruct some of this stuff. I should be able to deconstruct all of it. Uh, one second. Okay, a quick reset and the mod is working again. So it will allow me to deconstruct this, 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 and these neutronium lockers. I don't know why these are built out of, or made out of neutronium. Um, if they were made out of steel, that would make more sense since the other stuff is made out of steel and you can at least melt it if you really wanted to go crazy. Um, I'm not going to destroy the vacillator just yet. Uh, I want to see how many I have on the map before I go destroying those. Um, I just want to clear up this area so that I can put in the generators. Uh, I think here or here, I haven't decided. I'll take this out. There's another one over here. Um, I guess I'll just put them up here. So that's the four for that, and then we'll need one, two... I'll put in four more. Just for, uh... Overproducing sake. And then they can all be... Connected to that one battery. That one battery will control all of them. And then we'll get a heavy watt wire and connect them all up. And there goes all my refined copper. So, I'm gonna have to make a lot more copper with these. And then, oh, I also need to scale up a duplicate to build that. So that is the electrical engineering too. So I'll probably put that on my builders, yeah. Nikolai and Lyra, so improved tinkering and improved tinkering. Let's see, does that, no, okay, they do need one more. So once they level up, I will get that built, and then usually what I do is just run everything off of the heavy watt conductive wire. Uh, so I'll probably put a joint plate here, run the wire in here, power everything. Uh, but that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video. I don't want to make you sit through... Well, I guess you wouldn't really sit through it. I would just fast forward it until I have enough copper for the wiring. Um... But that's going to take a while. So, I'll probably cut it here. Uh, what did we do in this episode? We cleaned this up, we got the bathrooms plumbed, and we got some oxygen generation going. And then we started uh, centralizing power, which makes things really easy. Instead of having a bunch of generators scattered around the map, you have it all in one location, controlled by one battery. And next thing I want to do is dig down and break into the oil biome so that I can start making some plastic because plastic will allow us to make steam turbines, right? I don't have them unlocked yet, but steam turbines is how you really start expanding everywhere and getting heat under control. Once you can manage all of the heat around the map, you can really go anywhere you want. And the other thing I need to do is reveal more of the map so I know where to put in my duplicate housing. And it looks like we're starting to run out of water, so we'll have to find a water source. It's probably, yeah, the supercomputer takes a lot of water. Once you finish all the researches on the 
supercomputer, uh, you stop using all of your water, which is kind of odd since you're, that's, this early game is when you're, like, the lowest on water, and that's when you need the most water for your computer, but anyway, um, that should be it for this video, I uh, hope you learned something, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.